How we going? Good afternoon, Moore County. I'm David Warnoff, publisher of the Pilot Newspaper. You know, in the late 1980s, I was a cub reporter down in Alabama. And one of my first days on the job, I went, went and talked to the mayor of Oxford, Alabama. And the guy's name was Virgil something. You don't meet a lot of guys named Virgil anymore. Anyway, he looked at me <clears throat> and he had enough oil in his hair to, um, to be qualified as a Petro state. I think he later got admitted into OPEC. Anyway, he looked at me and he said, he had this really gravelly voice. He said, son, I just want you to know my personal business is just that my personal business. So I was, I was reminded of my, <clears throat> my meeting with Virgil this morning when, or yesterday afternoon when John Nagy told me he was going to take the rest of the week off to focus on personal business. So unfortunately, Moore County, you are once, John is off getting some work done and you are stuck with the B team. So we'll try and do our best. Um, let's see, I clocked in this morning at 96.0 degrees on our fancy infrared thermometer. Uh, you know, fashion designer Rick Owens once said, the coolest thing is we don't care about being cool. And at 96.0, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I guess I don't really care about being cool. All right. So on with the news. We have, uh, it, it, the, just before we went on the air, uh, three new cases were reported here in Moore County, which brings our total to 150. And our two-week-long streak of no deaths has unfortunately been broken. And we have three new deaths to report to you. They, uh, which brings our total to nine. Um, one of those three new deaths was related to Pinehurst Healthcare and Rehab. We do not know if that is a uh, employee or a patient or a resident, I should say. <clears throat> um, you know, two weeks without a death to report seems a little suspicious to me. So my spidey sense says, um, there's something is amiss. So David Sinclair and Jamie Baxter are going to start digging into that. For instance, these three deaths, one occurred on May the 3rd and, or two occurred on May the 3rd and one occurred on May the 2nd. So the county's been sitting on these for four or five days. Again, something doesn't seem right. So we're going to look into that on your behalf. <clears throat> Let's see. We have First Health is reporting that they, on their dashboard, that they have conducted 2,933 tests, and 298 of them are positive for about a 10% uh, yield, and that has been their their path for the last uh, several weeks. Uh, they have 102 cases pending. So, and I think First Health has now got 24-hour turnaround on that, so we should, we should see where they're, they should have 10 new cases tomorrow. Of course, their catchment area is much broader than just Moore County. So that's why there's a discrepancy between the Moore County Health Department and the First Health. First Health's got four hospitals in four counties and they, they serve probably close to 15 counties. Um, let's see. <clears throat> David Sinclair is working on a story right now. He's hard away pounding it out. He's just sat through, I almost had suffered through, sat through a two hour county commissioner's meeting uh, which was done via Zoom. Uh, and the headline of that is there will be no tax increase this year on property taxes. Uh, they also did not arrive at any kind of resolution on school funding. Um, County Manager Wayne Vest will um, take some of the conversation from today and he will render his recommendations to the Board of Commissioners on May the 19th. Um, <clears throat> as part of these electronic meetings, the um, whenever a public hearing is held, and there will be one held uh, next or two weeks from now, um, the uh, board must wait 24 hours before they can take any action on the hearing. So uh, schools and the health healthcare folks you have, you'll have 24 hours to make sure you are heard by the county commissioners. 
Um, so don't fret if you're, you are not uh, part of that hearing. Um, and Davis and Claire also reports that the commissioners pledged their all the resources necessary to the health department to combat COVID-19 and give them whatever they needed to get whatever testing done. So that was heartening to hear. Uh, Laura Douglas reports that elective surgeries will begin uh, on Monday, that's next Monday, May 11th, at First Health and at the Ambulatory Surgery Center uh, right across the street from Piner Surgical Clinic. Uh, and now that is from, <clears throat> that, uh, that information is brought to us by the good folks over at Piner Surgical. We have not yet heard from First Health, but we assume um, that we will be soon. Uh, so elective surgeries are getting ready to, to take place. That's uh, good news for our healthcare industry, the second largest industry in the county, and one that's important. And when those surgeries start cranking up, that, that's uh, good news for the hospital and all of us physicians' practices. Um, let's see, Laura Douglas is also working on uh, a story about real estate here in Moore County. You know, every Sunday, I see this, this is the back of the A section of Sunday's paper. There's 50 transactions there. Um, you know, and that's holding pretty steady throughout this crisis. I'm impressed with the uh, volume of those transactions. So Laura has gone out and started doing some reporting and we should get something in the next day or two from her. <clears throat> but, but her initial uh, findings were that Boy, it is a seller's market out there. So if if you've got um, a house to sell, now's the time to do it. There is precious little inventory and houses aren't lasting long, particularly those valued at $300,000 and under. So uh, be looking for that story very soon in uh, the pilot. Um, of course, all these stories are online and they are outside of our paywall. Um, while, of course, they are free for you to read, they are not free to produce. So we hope that uh, when you consume this content, that you will uh, consider a uh, purchasing a digital subscription to the pilot. It's very inexpensive, but it uh, it is a absolute lifeblood to our organization. So we hope you will, will take advantage of that opportunity. Okay. Um, we also have a story coming uh, probably tomorrow uh, from the good folks down at Meridian Zero in Aberdeen. They, they make kiosks and they have developed a thermal thermometer. It's hands-free, so you just walk up and it scans you and tells you your temperature. So schools all over the country and uh, businesses are, are um, ordering these. The, the marketing director down at, uh, at Meridian Kiosk says that they are complete, quote unquote, completely inundated. So we're waiting to hear back from Chris Gilder. So Chris, if you were watching this, I hope you'll give Laura a call so we can complete that story and get that out to the good folks across the county. And um, we should have that for tomorrow. Um, it's a relatively quiet day here in Moore County. Folks must be out and about enjoying the spring weather. So that's all the news I have for you. So until then, be safe, be kind, and keep your distance.